<sighs> we continue more of Breath of the Wild. Now we're uh, in Tabantha region. Gonna start exploring. Uh, yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. And this is part of a longer stream on Twitch, so it's part two. Or <sighs> okay. Yeah. Hope everyone's day is going well so far. Okay, let me think how I'm gonna do this. Now that I have a map to work with. Ah, uh, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump behind me and I'm gonna go along here because there is a, a shrine that way, so. Wait, that's not behind me. That's behind me. It'll be better at turn. You have to answer phones for an HR, so you'll be looking. <laughs> Fair enough. You have to put on the, uh, the phone voice. Do you have a phone voice, or do you keep it more or less the same? <laughs> By phone voice, I mean you, you might, like, just... You do, it's a customer service voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Gotta do that sometimes. Just gotta change a tone of voice. Hoping not it's not too busy. Is it normally busy on Fridays? Fridays for me, it can go one of two ways. It's either it's wrapping up something and it's not too bad. It's not busy at all, or it's just getting a lot of stuff done. To make sure the next week is uh, is handled. Where is this Korok? Hmm. Mondays are the busiest. Friday at nine a.m. shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Monday being the busiest, huh? <laughs> now, for me, it depends. If it's days where I'm just working on stuff and I don't have to talk to people, it's not busy. Because I get my, my stuff done and it's fine. But it's when I have to be in planning sessions and talking and reviewing stuff. That's when, yeah, my day is just chaotic. <laughs> they get their bills on Saturday, then they all call on Monday. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Friday, just before you're about to finish, seems the busiest. <laughs> I, I have that happen as well. But sometimes a Friday is just, yeah. It's nice. It's an unwind. Where on earth is this Korok? Or is it 
Is it behind this? It might it might be behind us. Let's just see. It is, wow, it was. Okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't rule out this area. <laughs> I was like, oh cool, it didn't pick up the bow. I'm safe. Nope! All right, I'm going around this thing just to make sure there's no other sneaky, sneaky Korok. Oh, it's the it's the fountain. That's the horse fountain over there. I mean, I'll go there eventually, it's just right now I want to make sure this is clear. Oh, Where is it? I think I got lucky. When did I get a second donut? Oh. Um, stamina wheel does food that gives you a little bit of extra temporarily. So once I use the yellow, it's gone forever. So I just ate food that get, gives me a little bit extra. But then once I use it, it's gone. Don't worry about that. That's yeah, gone. Maybe this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I'm just glad that it didn't make me uh, go too far from where I was trying to go to. Alright. Going to low ground. the donut. What flavor would it be if it was yellow? What flavor would it be if it was green? More importantly. Apparently there is one here. Custard for yellow and apple. Okay. Would have thought like green would have been matcha or something. The apple donuts I've seen, it's usually apple filling, but not like uh, icing or the donut is a green color. Apple, apple filling donuts are pretty good though. Apple cinnamon in the middle. Whoop. 
I'm gonna go along these shelves here. Matcha isn't a common thing here. Oh, no kidding. It's common amongst tipsters here. <laughs> In the context of donuts, I should say. Not just matcha on its own. I'm not saying matcha is hipster, but matcha in the context of a donut, yeah. I'll just keep following. I'm keeping an eye on nighttime as well because if it's a blood moon, I'm going across that bridge. I almost feel like I should go across the bridge now because it's been a while. We haven't seen a blood moon tonight. As in, you know, playing. It's, I feel like we're due for one, and I'm in the area, and that's... <laughs> Triple kill. That's one less thing to worry about. I know it's not technically on this region that I'm doing, but... It's, uh, yeah. Something I should handle. I think one of the better donuts I had recently was there was this tiramisu donut. Oh man, it was so good. Another one was uh, a boysenberry one. Oof. It was good. Pretty much, they have to be in the mood to have donuts and sweet stuff. It's just. It's not my go to unless I'm having coffee or something. Yeah, I mean, it's just a preventative measure, because... The thing is a dickhead. I'm gonna steal this. Oh. Isn't this usually guarded? Alright, whatever. Hey, I'll take that. weird. Alright, where is this blood moon shrine? There are other good donuts I've had, but I don't want to yeah, they're just standard flavors, right? Like uh, a jelly-filled one or a custard-filled one. 
They're not that worthy of a mention. Wow. I was just think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. Yay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. Beetle gets really excited about selling stuff. I mean, he's living his best life. Enjoying his job, business, whatever. Such a happy merchant. Although, one that gives you guilt trips, but still happy nonetheless. Ha ha! Yeah. I just wanted to spot out where this is. I think it's I think it's over there. Yeah, that looks familiar. All right, because this is the challenge, so it would make sense that the Blood Moon thing is over there. This is just a hunch that there's going to be a blood moon tonight, that's all. Yeah, this is the one. Be completely naked. Yes. I can't remember if there's a Korok up there, but I'll climb.
Hmm. This seems a little annoying to have to climb. I don't know why, but because he's playing an accordion and just I had the feel of the music. I don't know why, but I, I think Cass is French, but maybe that's just too many stereotypical Pixar cartoons where that sort of thing happens. Oh, this is irritating. I might not be able to get up there without eating food. just has that like vibe where it's just the scene changes to to France I don't know why this is probably not gonna be worth it but I'll do it uh stamina I need to collect more mushrooms. I think if there was a Korok, it would have gone off already. Pretty much just for the clue. I have a record of my search for the ancient songs. Okay. Well. I mean, I think we're done here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I should just set a campfire. It's just, I get the feeling there's going to be one today. I have not seen one today, so we're kind of overdue. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks for the follow, whoever that was. Sorry, hang on. I haven't got my screen up. There we go. I suppose if I'm going to resort to use the fire, what I'm equipped with now, there's not a whole lot of point. <laughs> Hit it with this. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. It's been... It's been multiple hours. I've been playing for hours and... Okay, so it's raining. That's cool. <laughs> I can't light the same campfire again. Yeah, this one's a little little tedious because you have to be in the right place at the right time. At least if you're doing what I'm doing. Because I'm not allowing myself to fast travel, so I should get this done sooner rather than later. And since there hasn't been a blood moon in a very long time, surely there's one on the way.
damn it. <laughs> I just wanted to stop the music. Just have to wait it out. I suppose I could try and roll the dice on on the amoeba and try and get the outfit again. Got nothing better to do. I figured I'd try once. Okay. Yeah, sorry this is gonna be boring, chat. <laughs> but I got... I got no alternative. It's just. I have to wait till a certain time. If it doesn't happen, put the camp out again and just rinse and repeat, you know? So I can't really see the optimal places to go look for Korok while I'm waiting. Crap. <laughs> That's ages away. I think it, it went into the ravine. Uh, I want that, but at the same time, I want to get this done. That's just too much of a detour. Okay, there we go. We can see the moon now. Oh, this might, this might be it. I think that's a bit of... Oh no, wait, it's raining again. Ugh. I really, really hope, above all else, that Tears of the Kingdom just does something about the rain. It's either... It doesn't happen nearly as often, or we give something to the player that allows them to climb in the rain. Even if we don't get it right away, that's fine. As long as we end up in a scenario where we're not hindered every... Five to ten minutes. It's okay. <laughs> I think I have to turn on the UI. As much as I don't like it. Yeah, it's already past midnight. Okay. I need reference for the time. That's interesting. It keeps a star. Alright, so at 11.30 we should be able to see if it's the moon or not.
I mean, I think this is cool conceptually, but... If you're doing what I'm doing... This, I think this is the most tedious one, just purely because I have to sit here. I can't just go anywhere else because there's no fast traveling with what I'm doing. So it's just a matter of being patient. Whoa, I didn't know that could happen. I've never seen one of those trees fall down. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to tell. No, there's the moon. Okay, we can see it. Looks like this isn't the one. about now. At least it's not raining. Lottery. <laughs> no, it's Ice Arrows. That is a normal moon. All right, I can see it already. There just has to be a better way to do this. There's so much for. There being a blood moon soon. I haven't seen one today. So I thought, yeah, just come here because likelihood of it happening. Probably pretty high. I'm just cursed. Whenever it is I'm actively looking for something, then it just disappears from the face of the earth. But when I'm not looking for it at all, it's the most common thing ever. Sorry if this song is going to get stuck in your head.
Oh, there's the moon. If it's a... Yeah, I mean, you got to see if it's red or not right away. Oh, I don't want to drive everyone crazy. <laughs> I might... I might try it two more times and then... Say screw it. And just keep going. Oh, wait. No, there we go. That It lit up this time. This might be it. Hasn't lit up before. Okay, naked. Alright, awesome. Done. <laughs> Just when I was about to give up. I mean, it's best this is out of the way now. Mija Rocky. Oh man, and I can go back to the normal HUD as well. And by normal, I mean the pro one. Funny thing is, you're not even worthy. Even after all that, it's just nah ha, ha ha. Guess what? It's a modest one, so that that's fine. Here we go. To hit it otherwise it's just gonna regenerate Just use the flame blades. I almost messed that up. Oh, 
Alright, we're good. As much as I like that, it's just... ditch for it. I think we're cool. I think that's fine. Yay! I'm just glad to get this one done. Six day three. Okay, now adventure can resume. This is what I was waiting on before. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. Oh yeah, the shooting star would be gone, I guess, since I loaded. I may as well cut across here. That's timing. Okay. Oh, can I get there in time? Hang on, what have I got? This is the dragon that I have. Okay, so I've got... Two horns, it's either a scale or a claw. Alright. I mean, claw's the harder one to get, but we'll see what we have time for. Ooh, careful. Okay. It missed. Alright, that, that should be right. That should be right. Oh, 
God, I hate I hate this game sometimes. Just seems to dogpile all the enemies. Oh, it's running. Yeah, more of these. <laughs> no, I wanted to make sure I got the shot, but hey, Kara. And don't leave it up to chance. The flames, I find that they're not as threatening as the ice or the electricity. They don't seem to aim for you, they kind of just flow along the dragon, which it's not too hard to avoid. Fine, I mean, do what you need to do to get stuff done. I mean, ice and electricity, it's fair enough. Those ones, they are more dangerous. But this dragon, I don't know. Just, I don't find it threatening. The other two, I, I probably wouldn't get that close. It's just the way the fire spreads out. It's, I don't know. It's, it's not targeted at you. Oh shit, you need a Korok Leaf, which I think they're gonna give me one here. Yeah, I can bring this with me though. Hang on. The way to do this is pick this up and then I just bring it with me. This is gonna suck. 
Yeah, I don't think I can do this. That's a shame. I hate that I had to do that, but it is what it is. Okay, they can shoot me through the floor. I don't have many ancient arrows left, that's why I'm trying to not eat shit. I think I'm gonna have to just eat another one of these. Then at least I can tank the hit. <laughs> one thing I've always been curious about this one, does it work? It does. Fucking wankers. Damn it. It does it does work, but not in the way that I wanted it to. Oh no. I'm gonna load. It's okay, I didn't die. They won't even let me be clever. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this shrine's easy to find because you just look at the birds in the sky. There's always... For certain hidden ones, you just look and they're revealing where they are. I'm not sure if snake or if. Okay. I just wanted to pick up some momentum. It's okay, I can take a few shots. This is an annoying shrine. Wait, what's going on? Jar is not working. On the fuck? When did I turn that off? No, defense up is, uh, is legit. See what I mean? Was not even afraid to die, though. Just illustrating a point. Oh, wait. I'm doing the wrong thing. I slept to do that.
Do you ever find yourself swarmed? Surprised I haven't cooked all the iron shrooms. To get the triple defense, it's not iron shroom. You need crab to get, like, the, uh... The ultra high one. Just cooking iron shroom only gives you... Uh, like... Tier 2. Which is not as strong. It doesn't save you. It's not enough. I hate this one. But that being said, I do need to do another another trip for crab. How am I supposed to hit this? No, it works. Wait, do I? Re oh man, this just uses everything. Uh, two iron shrooms, salt, one salt, two crabs. I get how this is supposed to be done, but I feel like just using the bomb arrows isn't enough. I'm just wasting my time here, in all honesty. <laughs> like, let's just... Let's just cut the middleman out here. Uh, but yeah, let's... If you look at it... Very good recipe. And then you just add 10 parts to that and you know, you're, you're pretty s solid when you have to get out of a sticky situation. need the leaf anymore, so. I guess that, oh, you know what, that's pretty decent replacement for the sword that I lost. I'll take it. Okay. Thanks for uh, using that prime sub for the nine months, dude. I'll do my best to continue to entertain. 
thought you were going to say something related to the shrine or something. Sixty-four! Okay. I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh, shrines in this area here. It's gonna take a while to clear this area out, but at least shrine progression will be good. The previous tower I did admittedly was a little boring. <laughs> Just a lot of uh, empty space. At least this one has interesting things. That's easy. Three seventy. The only thing that sucks about this area is the windmill thing. But to check them out, you have to fall into the canyon, and then you have to come back up, and yeah, it's... It's a process. I will need to take a trip at some point to the beach and get more crab. Because I'm running out of crab. And uh, maybe to Hatino and get more mushrooms. Because I'm running out of stamina food as well. Or at least the ability to make some. Okay, let me look at this. Yeah, I mean... Some guy decided to have a heart attack to you. You're late. How dare they? How dare they prevent your streaming experience? <laughs> hey, confirming. Yeah, honestly, I don't think you've missed on that much, except the Blood Moon refusing to appear. Just, uh, yeah. Starting to bantha, so. I guess I did break- I did break a shrine. <laughs> Some button just refused to get pressed and I soft lock myself a couple times. So that was fun. Yeah, you know, just typical for me. It's it's fine. Just a normal Friday. Uh, okay, I've checked that one. You've never soft locked yourself unintentionally. Ah, oh, you haven't lived. I'm 
I think my favorite one for the Zelda playthroughs has been when I got stuck. I somehow glitched the game to the point where Link went through a wall, which caused me to cause a screen transition. And then somehow I ended up inside a ceiling and had to go get the get the second controller to save and exit and come back into the game. I had to go find my second NES controller. To unfuck myself. There'll probably be a road trip today at some point. I need to go get more crab and shrooms. I wonder how many times as a kid you weren't actually soft luck when you thought you were. Probably a lot. The thing is I don't ever remember breaking games as a kid. Or as, as a teenager, or even a young adult, this is just something that has started happening the moment I started streaming. It's just everything you could imagine that could potentially go wrong, or go right, in a weird way, just happens to me. Used to look for glitches in Tony Hawk games. You found a place where you glitch infinitely into the sky. Ah, that, those glitches are the best. During lunch today, I went through uh, all the streams here on Twitch for the last month and just took out clips where I put markers in. Wait, in Shrek, there was a spot where you glitch through the window and you end up soft like inside of a GameCube. What? The Shrek game? I never, I never got into any of the movie games. The only movie game that I think I played was the Toy Story one, and that wasn't too bad. Oh, and the Rugrats game. That was, uh... That was something else. Just shovelware from the PS1 era. Man. They were underrated. I mean, some were decent. Others were just like, let's just put this out. And... It's just, uh, loosely tied to the movie. I guess I- I never were, was interested in movie games because movie games from the NES and to some extent the Super Nintendo era, the gameplay just had no tie-in to what the show was about or the movie. They were just horrible, generally speaking. <laughs> I think they did get better later, admittedly, but it's just seeing so many movie adaptations going to video games. Uh-uh, they weren't great. Like, Ghostbusters on the NES, oh my god, that, that was such a travesty. 
And, you know, the Simpsons games, whilst I did enjoy them, I, I knew that functionally they, they weren't great. <laughs> they weren't great games. The only thing similar was the Simpsons games to the DS. The Simpsons Hit and Run, that game was amazing. I love Sim Simpsons Hit and Run. Simpsons Wrestling, eh. Wasn't that great. Simpsons Hit and Run, I, I kind of want to play again one day. Because it's hard and it's annoying, but it's fun at the same time. That is a game that I, I know I will get very salty at if I play it again. If I really want to, uh, like, go into the vintage, vintage memes, just, I'll play Gex. And just see how many references from the early 2000s that go over people's heads. And how soon it is before people get tired of hearing the Austin Powell references over and over and over again. What's funny about that game is... So, you know, I, I would have gotten the British version of it. It's very different to the American version, because they swapped out the pop culture references to make sense. But, uh, the British version of Gex does a lot of Austin Powers. You were never into Austin Powers. Yeah, I mean... Mike My movies that Mike Myers were in, they're, they're kind of swing and a miss sometimes. Kind of, uh, like, like Will Farrell is another example of that. Is like, there are people that find him funny no matter what, but him, it's his movies. It's either I'm going to find funny or I'm they're just not funny at all to me, and there is no in between. Isn't that true for most comedians? Mm, there are some comedians that have a better track record of movies. I just think, generally speaking, like... Adam Sandler and Jim Carrey. Oh, I love most of Jim Carrey's movies. Let me put it this way. There's a higher percentage of Jim Carrey movies that I enjoy... ...than, say, someone like Will Ferrell or, uh... ...or Mike Myers. Same with Sandler. It's a higher ratio of enjoyment. Like, I'm not saying that every movie they make or everything they do is hilarious. No one's perfect, but I find that when a Jim Carrey movie isn't that funny, at least I still get a chuckle out of it. And I'm like, yeah, this isn't his best work, but I might get like a smile or a smirk or something and find something amusing. At least that still happens. But with Will Ferrell movies, sometimes it's like, oh no, he's trying to be funny. Oh no, I don't find this funny at all. Oh no, this is the whole movie. <laughs> it's... That's just how it is with him, specifically. I don't know why. Also, welcome back, uh, Coloran. How, how'd your, uh, your phone duties go? Again, it's very subjective, right? Like, to each their own. But I'm just talking about... ...those comedians specifically. There's just something about them where... I find myself not finding them funny more than I find them funny. Um, yeah. I mean, another comedian I don't I don't find as funny either is Kevin Hart. I find that he's he's just trying to be like Chris Rock and. Uh, He's like a light version of Chris Rock, and who's the other comedian? Yeah, he's trying to do like a Chris Rock and an Eddie Murphy. But like, you know, 80s Eddie Murphy. This is a major test of strength, so... yeah. Again, my opinion, right, like... 
I'm sure if, if you find those comedians funny, that's, uh, it's good for you. <laughs> There's Ryan Reynolds in that character. I mean, I think Ryan Reynolds is just, it's, you know, can be humorous, but intent isn't really meant to be comedy comedy, right? Like, he's just a humorous dude. That, that's the way that I see him. But intent isn't, you know, primary driver isn't comedy. It's just he can be a humorous dude. But his characters typically go beyond just humor, right? It's all just people paying their bills, no one yelling at you. No, that's good. I mean... Oh, shit. My weapon. Um... Hang on. Oh, no. I have, I have to poke, I have to poke. Oh. Okay. Uh... Kind of skewed by Deadpool and Green Lantern. Yeah, I mean, but th th those movies, um, let's see, Detective Pikachu, there's, um, I mean, his guest star roles and stuff as well. Like, anytime I've seen him on a show, it's just, yeah, that's a humorous guy, but it's not his, his characters are never intently just, that's all they're trying to be. I think that's his strength. But yeah, I mean, this is all subjective and it's all based on the type of movies you watch and who you enjoy. Didn't I swap to... Okay, apparently I didn't. Oh, it's mid-swing? Really? I thought that didn't apply to bows. Okay, since this is a test of major strength, I have to go heavy on the damage here. Um, I want to keep my elementals. Okay, now we swap into... This is the meta, pretty much. You go to defense and then at the last moment you just do that and bang, done.
Okay, cool. Bye bye, Lionel Shield. Well, that was my last defensive, uh, crab. I might have to go take a trip. I got rid of my DPS shield. Psst. You know, the first time I played it, I wasn't even aware that that was a thing with the shield. This is something that I only learnt recently. Okay. Hooray! I'm gonna look at the uh, the entry for the crab and see if there's any nearby. Found out by mistake before the mastermind quest. Yeah. It just comes down to not reading the description. <laughs> That's all. Lol didn't read. Sixty five. I can go without it, it's just if I, uh, come across another major test of strength or a shrine where it just spams enemies, then, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have problems, you know? I'm going to have problems. Let me look. I guess it comes on the creatures. Wait, does it come under monsters or does it come under... No, it comes under critters. Yeah. There we go, crab. Necluda C, Necluda. Yeah, so... Um... Oops. For me to get, go get more crab, I would effectively have to go along here. I'm pretty much here. There's bay. Necluda bay. Which, I guess I'd be making a trip to Hatino. It's just it's kind of important. But I know that's quite a bit of a trip to take. Specifically just for crab. What about Amaranth? Um, it doesn't work. It still gives you medium from what I've seen. I can try it, but... Pretty certain. I didn't find the Korok. Huck. Huck. 
Okay, there's one. I'm pretty sure there's a couple on this hill. They also saw it just a dragon horn. Yeah, I'm not doing dragon horn. Wait, where is it? Oh. Yeah, I mean, next time I'm I'm around a cook thing, I'll try it. But I need stamina as well. I don't have any stamina shrooms. As far as stamina ingredients go, I'm running low in general. Yeah, the horns are just for the duration increase, which I don't care about. Um... But I'm down to seven of these, and then... Um... What's the other one? Yeah, I've been collecting honey. Because it's required for the 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 upgrading of the wild, the wild set. I mean, I guess I could do. I could do the the frogs. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could make stamina or elixirs instead. That could work. Am I going to do Trial of the Sword? Yeah, I'll try. As long as it falls within the time constraints of, uh... You know, not overlapping with Tears of the Kingdom. But I've completed Trial of the Sword on Master Mode. It's just, at that point, of course, I'm gonna have full hearts and everything, right? It's not the same as this. Because you can't get into the Trial of the Sword with low hearts. But I can get it done. The three heart thing is pretty much going to end once I have everything, like shrines and Korok. Then it's going to enter phase two. You can do three hearts, but you need the master sword, don't you? You can't pull out the master sword without having more hearts. They have to be actual hearts. The statue in Hatina gives the orbs back. Yeah, but then you have max stamina. It's not the same as not having stamina at all. Like, at that point, the challenge is gone. Typically, the Trial of the Sword isn't... The problem isn't... Uh... Hearts. At least I don't think so. It takes the vessel entirely. Huh. I thought it swapped it. Interesting. Uh, I mean... Hmm. I'm not sure I want to do it that way, though. Just based off my memories of that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it would be cool. But then where do I draw the line? Do I finish Ganon on three hearts? Do I still do it naked? Like, I, I don't think that's the way to go. Full masochist? I don't know. But the way I want this to end, I want Link to be in the hero gear with full hearts and everything and upgrades and all that shit, right? Because that's the way I end Zelda games. It's like, oh, I have all the hearts. I have all the big items. That's finishing a Zelda game to me. It'd be a bit weird finishing it like this. I mean, I, I could do Trial of the Sword and then once I get Trial of the Sword, then I'm considered a hero. And then I just wear the hero armor and finish the game. Huck. 
I just don't think I want to end it that way. I don't know. Motivation to do that. <laughs> Not very high. The motivation to do that is not very high at the moment. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, it would be satisfying and impressive, but it's... Knowing what I know of Trial of the Sword, man, it's it's not easy. But yeah, speaking of clothing, I should be scanning to get clothing now because it's past midnight. Okay. The thing is, if I ask what people want to see, of course they want to see me do it like this, right? Completely naked. It's, so it's not even worth asking the question. No one's going to say, nah, just do it. Do it the way you planned. I know that there's no point in asking because I know what the answer is. You'd prefer to see me do it looking like a proper hero. Trial of the Sword, the finale, or both? Okay, there we go. Both? Right. Well, there we go. So now... Look at this. Hey. Oh, man. Nostalgia. Love it. But no. Not yet. I'll wear one of the outfits. Not sure which one. on audio only. Well, it was... it was very nice looking. They release info on the Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo, as in what it's gonna do? What's it gonna do? Some custom glider appearances are included. Interesting. Sounds like they'll work a lot like the Breath of the Wild amiibos, which leads me to believe that these are still going to be in Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, I can't see any reason why they would want to strip that out. Maybe the weapons? I don't know. It depends. Disappointed? Well, what would you want it to do? Personally, I wouldn't want it to do too much because then it's like, haha. Buy the game. Buy the $79 game. Then another $15 on top to access something that should be in the game. Do it. There's a new one for Tears of the Kingdom Link that you tempted. You mean beyond the one they announced already? There's more? For those of you that have Amiibo, do you, what do you do with them? Do you display them on a shelf? I attempted to pick up the ones that I see that they announced on top of the ones you already have. Gotcha. <laughs> My brother keeps them in a box. No, that's... Because he has a whole bunch of them. I think for those it's cool to have a few, but... To get every single one that comes out, I don't know, man. They're, they're, they're nice. 
They are nice looking. I have a couple. I think I might have to take this trip, chat. So I'm almost out of Ancient Arrows again. They seem like quality. I mean, for what they cost, they're, they're quality. physical stuff because I buy physical copies of games that's why advance wars came out today and I did pick it up but I haven't played it too busy with this, but I love Advance Wars. No! Come back. Oh well. Alright, this one's still here. gone. <laughs> what, the main reason you're looking forward to the Tears of the Kingdom is the ability to remove Breath of the Wild from your Switch? I guess. I mean, mine's just been in storage. It'll be interesting to see which is the better game of the two. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story, sure. I am the great fairy Kaisa. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. I need a thousand. Once my power has been restored, I can do great things, boy. Now, yeah, yeah. This is the one that helps you with horses, though. Thank you. You're too kind. Do you think Tears of the Kingdom will have any save import things? Don't think Nintendo's ever done it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I doubt it. It'd be cool. The thing is, they only do that when characters are really distinct enough, right? Like in an RPG, we have designed your own characters, and your actions perhaps affect the lore of the next game, but I don't think that's going to be the case for this. I just... What would you carry over? A, a weapon that's going to break? <laughs> Armor that you're probably going to acquire again? I don't know. I don't see a use case for it. The only reason that comes to mind is because Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Sure, but those had a reason because it was story elements that affected the other game, right? But I don't think that's the case here. There's nothing that you've done in this game that is like you've had to input something or, you know, an action where someone's like, um, you know, I'll, I'll get you or you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing here that feels like it's going to have continuity. There's nothing that would make sense for it to return and be like, Oh, yeah, 
That dude from the previous game, that thing I did from the previous game. Doesn't there's nothing here that would hint that that would happen. That's his poo. Yeah, well, most people won't do it. I, 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 I'm curious as a percentage how many people get the 900 Korok. I would imagine not, not a lot. I'm getting hit on here. I really can't thank you enough, boy. But that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials, enhance your clothing. Mmm. I mean, I should enhance some of it, but not now. I'm not wearing any clothing. Okay, then that's the gift for the great fairy, so I can go see the dude at the stable. I mean, this is just what I'm thinking anyway. Happy to... Eat my words, be proven wrong. But just, I, I think about it and I can't really think of something that a majority of the players would have done that is a large enough action that would be like, oh yeah, this is carrying over. I think, I think there'll be nods to quests. I think there'll be nods to quests from this game. To say that, you know, whatever you did in this game from a result perspective would ca carry over, I don't think it will. Wait, you're saying that the Korok poop is a fertilizer to grow the Deku tree? I don't, that's assuming it's even a poop. It's poop shaped. You know, the Ubisoft logo is poop shaped, but that doesn't mean it's, uh... It's poop. Right, I forgot to swap. Oh, how? Really? Yeah, ha ha. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. At least I can collect some of these arrows. Why did I mark that with a star? I wonder. Is it in this direction? No, it's, the it's in this direction. Why did I mark this with a star? I don't re remember. I think it's dragon time again. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I know why. Dragon spot. That's why. Should be there. Uh, sure. 
I mean, I might go to the stable and go see the dude just to close the quest. Hold on, what's this? Uh-huh. Yeah, ha 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 <laughs> Link, please, stop trying to climb. Have I given a horseless man a horse yet? No, because I haven't gone to that tower. That's in central Hyrule, and I just haven't gone to that tower yet. If we look at, uh... The land I've covered, the east side is, uh, only just been started, and then it's more or less... Oh wait, west side has only been started, east side is covered. Jeez, I'm so tired. It's past midnight, leave me alone. Slip of the tongue. I've had a very long day, chat. If the opportunity arises, give him the king of the mountain. It has to be... Well, I know, obviously, you have to give the white horse, right? But I guess if you give an incorrect horse, which I've never tried. But then why don't I just give him a style horse? I'm sure all of them would have funny answers. I'm not going to try and give him a stall horse. The King of the Mountain's easier. But I'd have to prepare stamina food because to tame the King of the Mountain, I have base stamina. <laughs> it's just going to be annoying. Be wasting a lot of stamina. Nah, I mean, for shits and giggles. I could do it. I could just save and then just load. Oh no, I'll try to remember. I'm gonna go turn in the quest. Since I am pretty nearby. No, I mean specifically looking for the, the white horse because of the the uh, connection to the royal family, if I remember correctly. So that's the only reason he wants that particular horse. Wants to seem fancy. Talking about two different quests. Which quest are you talking about? There's one where you have to wrangle a horse. In all fairness, I did not... Did not have any interest in doing all the quests. They just seem... Some of them are interesting. Other ones, it's just... Ah, it's a fetch quest. I'm good. The one you're talking about is the guy in the canyon towards the Gerudo Desert. I don't think I did that one. I mean, either way, it's a tower I haven't gotten to. But I mean, the thing isn't a horse. It's I could take a moose, not a moose, uh, a deer. Which is technically rideable, it's just... It doesn't classify as a horse. The deer is more realistic because that's pretty easy to tame. King of the Mountain is a bit of an effort. Oh, 
I, I hate, I hate stall. They just, I feel like they appear way too often. I had to take care of this before it becomes bad. Yeah. So there is usually one guarding, huh? Last time I came here, there was nothing guarding the chest. Okay. Where is the dude that gave me the money? There he is. Hey, it's you. Did you give the great fairy an offering? Of course. Alright, thank you. Looks like asking you was a good call after all. So that means you've met the Great Fairy. Man, I'm so jealous. But hey, at least you got to meet her, and that means technically I got to make an offering to the Great Fairy. Can't thank you enough. for getting something? Huh? No, I don't think so. Wait, what? You're not- you aren't trying to tell me you want a reward, are you? You got to see the Great Fairy thanks to my tip, didn't you? And now you're asking for more? Ah, oh, Great Fairy, even if it's just in my dreams, won't you appear before me? I mean, he paid for half of it, effectively, so I guess that's the thing, if you go there on your own. Okay. Right, so we're saying... And then... Oh shit, what? Hey, 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 what the, what happened there? <laughs> the cook thing didn't come up. Three iron shrooms in one, I want to see what happens with three and two. 410. And three and one is... 320. Nah, it's worth getting... 3-2. I just put one more and I get an extra minute? Nah, it's better. Well, almost an extra minute. That should do. Okay, I need stamina recovery stuff now. have we got it's just there are some Korok that's it's a hard requirement to have stamina recovery otherwise you can't do what you need to do this will replenish it as well I think yeah restores stamina and then temporarily extends so this is a good one It's actually a very good one. Alright, that'll do. 
Uh, I think I just need standard food now. Just so I'm not eating. Hang on. Just so I'm not mass eating stuff quickly. A lot. Yeah, you know what? That's just from all the wolves that I've, I've, uh, I've killed along the way. Because if I don't, they try to attack me, and as you know, I don't have much health, so I just throw a bomb, murder one, and uh, yeah, move on. So I've been interrupted by wolves roughly a hundred times. If I cook a single piece of raw meat and get 100% health back, ah, eh, but eh, it's fine. I'm sure there's other things I could do to get all my health back. Listen, the fruit and those veggies are on the first two screens. I don't have to go too far to pick it. I never want to hear about, oh, this is a more optimal thing you could be doing. But yeah. I could also have full health and be spending my, all my other stuff. It's a bunch of stuff I could be doing to make this experience better. I doubt there's anything down here. See what I mean? They're just... They just do that over and over again. They don't learn their lesson. What are the odds that there's something here? these things because the beam deflection is so inconsistent sometimes you can't target him properly with the ones in the air the other ones there uh, it's fine I lost the shield which is sad but uh, what can you do uh oh well, in order to survive this... In order to survive this now... This was not worth it. You weren't saying it wasn't optimal, it's just saying how ridiculous the amount of food I actually have is. Oh, I know, but it just... The whole, like, you realize I can cook meat instead and get all my health back. <laughs> like, one piece. It almost sounded like you could cook one piece of food instead of three. So, to me it sounded like the inference was I could be, uh, cooking one piece of food instead of three. So, yeah, that, sorry if that's not what you meant, but that's what I interpreted it as. Hmm. 
Oh, more like the wolves are delivering meals. They are. I think it's just comical to have a large amount of meat. I don't think I'm going to use it. It's just... That'll just be a large stack of meat that... I'm somehow mysteriously carrying without wearing anything. How many... Kilos or pounds of meat would that be? Just think of the the pile of uh, of wolves. But I mean, it's their own fault. I try to be pacifist. I don't want to fight stuff, but they just howl and come and try to kill me. So. Self-defense. So the next time I come across a guardian, I'm going to have to do beam deflections to beat it. Which is fine, I can do it. It's just... I've had the luxury of the ancient arrows for a while. Wait, what is this? Oh, right. I mean, I'm fine. I'll, I'll work with it. Whatever I have, I'll work with it. I was using a pot lid for the longest amount of time, and that pot lid got me through the majority of what I was uh, coming up against, so... The pot lid didn't even get destroyed, I just dropped it because there were better shields. So it's not like it got destroyed either, it was just <laughs> I came across better shields. The pot lid, uh, yeah. Was OP. Okay, it's just here. Yeah, this is fine. Wonder if ancient weapons will still exist. I don't know, that's the that's the big question is are traditional weapons still even gonna exist? Or is this going to be fully just, your weapons are what you craft? Mind you, I have seen shield, so I guess I would stand to reason that... Um, ...normal weapons would exist. Still, the very first thing I'm doing is combining it with meat. I want a meat shield. A literal meat shield. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just I, there's something comical about that. I'm sure most of the combinations that are dumb are going to be not as useful as you would think, but the fact that you can do them, yeah. I don't think that counts. It, it didn't land in it. It's possible some weapons from Breath of the Wild, Wild must come exclusively from amiibos. I mean, they already do. There's a few weapons that you can't get unless you have the amiibo. I don't think you can fuse everything. The fusing comes from ingredients and things in your inventory, not things out in the open. It's things that you can pick up that goes into your inventory, not everything. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Like, I doubt you'll be able to fuse a chair to the end of a stick, for example, and have a, a chair stick. I doubt that'll be a thing. 
Or it might just be boring and it'll let you do it, but then it becomes like a generic block of wood or something. <laughs> These are the things that are running through my head right now, is just thing inanimate objects that I'm going to try and put on a stick. So a chair is one of them. I don't know if you would call what I'm thinking creativity. It's more, okay, what's the dumbest thing I can come up with and is it allowed? Oh, it's at the top of this thing. First thing you want to fuse is an ore deposit. I mean, that's just going to be a stone club. I can already imagine what that is. I don't think that's going to yield uh, an exciting result. I think you're going to be disappointing on disappointed on that one. Second, you want to fuse as a Korok. I think you're thinking too much of this. I don't think it's going to be. You're not. These are the things that are going to be excluded: NPCs, creatures that have health, creatures that are technically alive. Still, you won't be able to do it with everything, in terms of fusing. It's going to be inanimate objects, things that aren't alive, environmental things, and things that, when you pick them up, will go into your inventory. That's what it's going to be, most likely. I mean, if you could fuse- look at it this way, if you could fuse a Korok onto the end of a stick, then you, you may as well just- when you get up to Ganon, just fuse them onto the end of your stick. Like, what do you mean? You're making logical arguments, but you still want to try. Are you just that kid that tried to ride a bicycle in Pokemon? And just was disappointed when Professor Oak was like, This isn't the time to do that? I'm inside a house. I'm going to try to ride my bicycle. Oh, Professor Oak didn't let me. Wow. I'm gonna try things that I think within reason should be doable. By the way, I heard in the Pokemon anime, so they've gotten rid of Ash. I haven't seen that thing in ages. I never liked Ash as a character for many reasons. The primary one was, hmm, I just got a strong Pokemon because of my bond with said Pokemon. I'm going to let this Pokemon go. What? I can't win tournaments? Oh no. I'm going to be 10 years old for 30 years. But that aside, um... You know, his last tournament, apparently his own mother doesn't even... Just stays home and watches it on TV with Professor Oak. It's just, damn. That's sly Professor Oak. That was the ploy the whole time. Like, get the kid to leave. So he could make a move. Good. I thought they were about to attack me for a sec.
The other thing I always wondered about Pokemon as well. The TV show. I don't know if this was a localization thing or if this was something that was a plot thread, but... Um... They always tried to make it a, th a thing that Misty, like, really wanted to date Ash. To the point where, on the, the music CD that they released, there's, like, a special song that's <laughs> just... Ash falls asleep, and then Misty sings this love song to him, and then he wakes up at the end and is like, Ha, huh, did you say something? It's just... It's weird, dude. Man, that city was funny. <laughs> okay. I think I've... I mean, again, I'm trying to... Uh be as thorough as possible. Okay, I'm just gonna run back. It's just I'm not going crazy later looking for Koroks in this area. Let's see if there's any more. Wait another one of these. <laughs> it just looks really weird. Link's feet are burning. Ground is too hot. Oh, that's why I don't go here. Look at how little that does. And they, they want me to fight these camps. Psst. How many weapons will I waste just to clear this? And then the the weapons they're gonna give me, they're just inferior. I think that's the only thing about Master Mode that's... Uh, I don't know what they could do, but... There's just no incentive to do camps and fight it's just it's not a in your best interest to do so you're just gonna slowly dwindle your weapons to nothing okay i think i'm content with this area i'll just move further north now That should be one. Three, seven, nine. And there's another one somewhere here in one of these craters. There's a peblet. Uh, 
Uh, let me look. It might be worth going up there. I was trying to do. I mean, there's still... <sighs> I'm worried that there might be one hidden. Rip durability? Ah, it's fine. To be honest, I, I just use this as a source of warp. It's not like I can use it effectively in combat anyway. It's just because it doesn't get struck by lightning, and, you know, sometimes there's overlap between storms and, and cold areas. I, I got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, it's just really hard to aim it. I just want to make sure this area is covered, that's all. I don't know, I find the fire one, it just disperses in a weird way compared to the other two. I'm not saying it's impossible to aim, I'm just saying compared to the, relative to the other two. Okay, I think I'm content with the cell. There was one Korok, it was hidden amongst all the sludge. I was just worried there might be a second one. That's a Talos. Oh, see, there's one. I mean, I can spot some from the map if I really want to, but I think I, I think I'm just gonna go. Hey, Seth, how's it going? How's things? Okay. Right in the middle of Korok time. Been working all week, so I'm missing most of the stream. Ah, that's alright. There's always the VODs if you want to catch up, but... I've been trying to take clips as well as I've been playing this. So I put... I did a bunch of clip extraction uh, during lunch today, so 
I caught up and put them on Discord. Yep. What? Oh, right, because the other one's still alive. Alright, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with any luck, I might be able to get to 400. This area has a lot more than the previous tower, so... I think it's not completely out of the question to find another 20. Here. This is the one sad thing about what I'm doing is that uh, when the shrine's in the radar area, I believe you can't do until the the beast is done, which sucks. Because originally, the first time I did this, I wanted it to be. Three hearts all the way until I got all 120. But the problem is you have to do the beast. So you're going to be on a minimum of four. Unless I purposely don't take the heart container and then come back for it. But that's the problem is the only way to get back up there is with fast travel, I believe. So it breaks that rule as well. I'm going to do a quick swap. Because the one I've been using is probably low on durability. It limits your own time to get playing. Now that's fair enough. I hate, I hate these things. The lizards specifically, just because... They have a range of attack, and the, they just, they don't stop. They move quickly, they're evasive. <laughs> it's not the one I thought was gonna howl. I thought the one that I aimed at was gonna howl. It looked like it was going to, and then it stopped. bunch of stuff coming up that I'm not looking forward to in this area, but I'll deal with that. I wonder how many pieces of meat I'll end up before I finish playing through this. Or if there's a hard limit <laughs> to how many. There prob there's probably a hard limit. I think I'm going to hit the hard limit first. Yep. 
at this rate. It's just anytime there's a wolf, I have to do that. Otherwise, I risk dying. Okay. Gonna explore this mountain now. Oh, you know what? Uh, I could go to the Rito village and get that. Which side am I on? Am I on the bridge side or... Let me see. No, I think I'm on the opposite side right now. Yeah, I am. Okay. Then this mountain it is. Yeah, I'm not fighting this thing. This is more just to mark that it's here. Okay. Ooh, honey. I want that. I feel like I'm giving him a weapon there. <laughs> Let me just move away. What? Go home! Go go back to sleep. I'm not here to fight you. I haven't seen it chase that far. Man. I feel like I remember this one. This is shoot the arrow at the sun, isn't it? Through the love heart. Where is the sun? I might be on time for this one. I think I, I think I got here at a good time. Sun's over there. <laughs> Even looking at that hurts. <laughs> it's a virtual sun and it hurts my eyes. It is it is nighttime here, so. We'll see the the thing light up at our feet and then that'll be the time to take the shot. If I remember correctly. Wait. What if I'm already too late? Hang on. What direction am I facing? That's south, so this is north. Think I'm okay? I think I'm okay. I just need to be patient. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Ooh, is it a fire arrow? It might be a fire arrow. Chat, is it a normal arrow or a fire arrow? I don't remember. Why, 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 why am I thinking it's a fire arrow? Hang on, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> um, Rito Heart Shrine. That's the one I want. I know it's shoot an arrow through it, it's just... 
One sec. Okay, the key is to wait, then use a fire-based weapon on the platform. Oh. No, no, no. This isn't- this is not what I think. This is just straight up just use the wand at the right time. We're fine. I don't have to shoot. Yeah, I swear this one was the same. I remember fire for some reason. I was right, it's just the detail is wrong. I just remembered, wait, this involved fire, but I didn't remember to what extent. So I just gotta wait for this to light up and then just go, blah. It's good timing, I mean, this is another one of these ones that it's just... Because I, I'm not fast traveling, I have to be here right time. Come on! Where is it? Should happen any, any minute now. We should see the heart on the ground as it gets closer. The long longest wait ever. <laughs> it's Why, do, why does it feel like the moon moves quicker than the sun? No, this one... <laughs> this one requires a fire weapon. You know what? Let's not... Let's not sit here and wait again. For what I just read, it said just use a fire weapon on the platform. Nearly there. That fox is eagerly waiting to see what happens. Well... It should have done something right away. Where's my... Where's my wood? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Screw it, I'm gonna... I don't have time for this. <laughs> I did it with a fire. I just thought the balls would bounce easily. But nope, this is why the fire rod, I don't like it. And it's mainly used as a way to keep me warm. As opposed to being a weapon. I just, I can't aim with it. Anyway. Mm, 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 mm. 
Burrito Nag. Down we go. I'm not worthy. <laughs> Cannon. Oh, right. Yeah, this is kind of fun. This would be a min. This would be a mini game that you would get a heart piece from in any other Zelda game. Because this is not a pain, it doesn't use any resources. Let's have a look. It's probably not worth what I'm gonna get, but eh, let's try it. Right, the target's moving in this one, which <laughs> come on, give me props. All right, it's a diamond. I guess it's worth it. <laughs> Birth first try. That is now... 66. Alright, I'll try and get another cosmetic now. See how it goes. Uh, sometimes I get lucky and it's first try. Wait, ah, oh. hold on, not the auto save. It auto saved after I got the thing. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. It auto saved. I hate it when it, that happens. Yeah, now this is correct. I'll have a couple goes at it, but I'll move on. I don't want to sit here forever. They already got one clothing set. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, come on. All right, all right, all right. One more, one more. One more. One more. Last one. Ah, uh, disappointment. All right. Loading, because I don't want to get an advantage. I just want the clothing. All right, and we move on. Because all the hero outfits are more or less the same, with the exception of one of them. It's just visually, some of them look cool. Jeez, there's so many shrines in this area. It's the most dense, I think. It's further back. I'm just thinking there's a memory on these hills, but it's further back. It's not this tower. It's the one where the Lionel is. That's where it is. I'm pretty certain. Maybe. Let me look at the album. Maybe I got it wrong. But the one I'm thinking of is... Where is it? Not that one. This one. Oh. No, it was there. Shit. I need to go back. <laughs> I thought it was the one with the Lionel on it, but it's not. Okay. My bad. It's fine. I, I might come across a Korok or something. Oh no, I don't like you. You start a thunderstorm. Okay, it's alright, you're off the screen. Play with the ball. Go on. Really? Nothing up here? I'm surprised. Okay, let me look. How is there nothing here? Is this, is this bait? Apparently not. Alright, free thunder blade.
How's this looking? There's a shelf below me. Okay. Uh, I guess drop down there and then just walk. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in this area. I was expecting at least a core up, but there's nothing. Oh, I wanted that. Oh well. Hey, Colin, what you miss? Uh, few deaths, love heart shrine that I just kept missing the fire. Not a whole lot else. More tears of the kingdom discussion. I'm guessing the, uh, the day is getting busier. <laughs> Your son ended up positive for COVID. Ah, oh, ugh, shit. Sorry to hear that. I still have not gotten COVID, despite being in the room multiple times with people that have had it. Vaccine was super effective. I mean, I know it's only a matter of time, but at this point, eh. Yeah, the, inf the air infection probably would have been nicer. To deal with. Is that thing the wizard robe still chasing me? I think so. If this is his first time getting it, it's gonna be hard to keep a floral quarantined. Yeah, kids get bored. one. 
Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> okay. I think I can hit 400 today. Really looking forward to what kind of open world puzzles Tears of the Kingdom might have. Hopefully larger ones that are interconnected as opposed to the shrine system except in the sky. That's the concern I had was just it was going to be the shrines but in the sky this time. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's looking good from the trailer. It took your partner an hour and 20 minutes to write a 15 minute report. <laughs> That's either incompetence or just they just want to drag out time to look busy. It's usually one or the other. A bit of both. <laughs> Yeah. But again, I lost us. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. This is the weekend. Yeah, it's Friday. I'm done with work. Long weekend. I'm f well, it's Saturday technically now. I'm from the future. Am I doing anything fun? Uh, not really. I just plan to be lazy. Play games, watch One Piece. I mean, if you think watching One Piece is interesting, I do want to try and do the cheese platter thing, so maybe on Sunday night I might do that. Do it. <laughs> be fancy. Yeah. Sunday should have- I just don't want to go shopping tomorrow because it's usually- or today. It's usually a very busy day on Saturday. Sunday is usually the better time to go. Less people. I'll go to one of the, the shopping areas that have uh, like a proper deli. I've worked hard this week, so deserve a break. But yeah, I mean that's that's as interesting as it gets. Have a barbecue? Could do it. Then I can have steak. <laughs> have a blooming onion. I don't know how they're made. There's no there's no representation of Outback Steakhouse here, even for Americans that are visiting. I mean, I'm sure there's a recipe somewhere online, but you need to deep fry it. And I don't have a deep fryer. This place is tiny. It doesn't have a good kitchen. 
Kitchen is kind of merged with the living room, so very minimal counter space. I can't really do much here. But that being said, you know, I can cook meats and stuff. That's fine. That's not difficult. Just anything else, like, that involves counter space, like a deep fryer and all that stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was going to go. I was going to go to the ancient columns because there's a memory there. Air fryers are worth the space. I have an air fryer, but um, I mean, look, air fryers are great. They're convenient and they can do a good job, but it's it's not comparable to deep frying. No matter how much they want to market it as, oh yeah, no, this is as good as deep frying. It's not. It's all right. But it's it's not. There's certain things it does well, but stuff like fries, for example, no, nah, you can't beat deep fried. It just it just doesn't come out the same. You're just kidding yourself. But you know, they're still they're still good. I like making stuff in the air fryer. I just don't think you can make a, a good blooming onion in an air fryer because I, I find it would probably be much like fries. You make fries that are amazing in an air fryer, but you use a potato slicer that makes even cuts. Okay. But would you say they'd be better, like, let's say you had a deep fryer and an air fryer next to you, and you made the potatoes exactly the same way. Which would be better? I just... I'm sure you can make decent stuff in an air fryer. It's its not really the debate, but... I think, generally speaking... The deep fried ones tend to come out better. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Prefer the air fryer, personally. Fair enough. But something that needs to be submersed like an onion would need the oil. Yeah. I don't think you could do... I don't think you could do it. And also how that thing is sliced, you probably need something very specific to slice it that way. Like a, a machine or a tool that is... That's its only purpose is just to do that. Probably. Battered chicken tenders in a deep fryer are amazing. Yeah, fried chicken can't go wrong. But that being said, frying the chicken and then using the air fryer to just make it crispy afterwards, very legit. Using an air fryer as like a finisher is uh is good. Wait, there's no way up here? I thought there was. I haven't really tried reheating stuff in an air fryer. I mean, not everything. There's certain things like meat, I think works well. But I haven't tried something like, say, reheating pizza in an air fryer. That would probably be pretty good, actually. Yeah. I might have to try that next time. This is my one, it's not one of the ones that has a door. 
my the one that I have, it's more like a like a drawer almost. Like a it has a drawer and it has a basket. Kind of taking the whole deep fryer thing to heart, right? To do the pizza thing, I would need one that that's more door. It has more of a door to open, like an oven, I guess. What the heck? How do I get back up here? I made a mistake. I'm on the wrong side of the hill. All right, I'm just gonna have to go this way. I have I have uh, a couple of slices of leftover pizza. Maybe I'll try that. Reheat it that way. You reheat rotisserie chickens in that man. You must have a pretty big one then. My one's not that big. But do you do anything to the chicken, like, say, put oil in it or something, just so it doesn't dry up? Like, a little bit of oil. Like, vegetable oil or something. Or is it not, not just as is? You bought it online with no idea how big it would be. I mean, that does... Sound very appealing, having one that's bigger. Probably works better than the one I have as well. This detour just to get this memory. You pour the juice from the container and place it in a metal bowl next to the chicken to warm it up. Right, gotcha. Yeah, I guess I was asking if there's like some form of basting. And rotisserie chicken's just legit. Especially because here we have uh, a lot of places that do them over hot coals. So it's like charcoal chicken is what we call it. And it's very cheap takeout, typically. But it's good. Ugh, man, now that's making me hungry, just reading that description. If the chicken has a skin removed, you have to coat it in butter, and just mental image of just this this chicken with, that's been coated in butter. I'm gonna get rotisserie chicken tomorrow, that's it. <laughs> I'm having that tomorrow. It does sound good, right? But yeah, they do it with a serving of fries, typically. And they have stuffing as well. So it's like chicken, fries, stuffing, and then you can get some gravy on the side as well. Ugh, it's great. And it's pretty, pretty cheap. Ugh. 
Why can't there be 24 hour rotisserie chicken places? I can't believe there are people out there that don't like the skin on a chicken. What are you doing? You're removing, you're removing the good stuff. All right, where is this memory? It's somewhere around here. Yeah, skin is best part, especially when seasoned correctly. It's so good, but it's so bad. Yeah, but, I mean, we eat so many things that are technically bad for us. Everyone has some kind of habit that is not good for you. Like, if you drink, or if you smoke, or if you eat a lot of sugary foods, that's probably worse than the chicken skin. I think the chicken skin is the less of the evils there. Life's too short. Eat that chicken skin. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can figure this out. It might be over there. It, the angle is... It's like this is this way, so it should be here. I know, see, if I, if I somehow developed an allergy towards chicken, that would... That would kill me. I'd have one last meal and that would be it. Go out with a bang. Where is this memory? There it is. I hate that it only appears when you're very close to it. Alright. Watch Link trimp out. I like chicken skin, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be crispy, it could be non-crispy, as long as it's seasoned well. It's... the thing. In some Asian restaurants, they just serve just chicken skin as a dish. Crispy chicken skin. It is so good. Yeah, I, con I confused it with the one that has a Lionel, so, anyway. Nothing. Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. Hmm. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the King's orders. Return to the castle. And tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! <laughs> English Zelda caught you off guard uh, because you've been listening to the Japanese voice track. Oh, well. Fine. Okay, that's all I came back for. Just head further north now. Only, you know, the time zone that I stream in 
if only it was better and it was during a time now where I could action that and be like, yes, you know what? All this discussion of chicken, I'm going to go get some chicken now. But I can't. The only thing I have is the leftover pizza, which I guess can do, but it's like, it's, it's, it's late. I shouldn't eat it. Okay, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow's lunch. Which I guess if I'm gonna do that, I may as well go look for cheese and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. This is chicken inception, I guess. Just, I was made to believe that I want chicken. Hey, it's Tyler's harmonica. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? You want a McDonald's, <laughs> but you didn't have a car to go get it. Uh, that's not an addiction. I'm totally not an addiction. Nope, if you feel like you're dying, not an addiction. McDonald's is open 24 hours near where I am, but the thing is... It, it's not gonna fill in the whole I want a, a roasted chicken thing right now. It's just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna appease that need. Okay, I'll fix it tomorrow. But nugs? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Nug nuggies would be great. But it's not what I want now. It's when, when you have something that you want, it's just... I could I could get those and be content, but it's not what I, what I want right now. You have quick trips that are gas stations that have retrospective chickens 24-7. They're the best, but the meat can be seasoned. Yeah, we have nothing like that. Rotisserie chickens are at uh, places called Charcoal Chicken, or they're in supermarkets, pretty much. And that's it. Outside of trading hours, there's nowhere way to do it. Oh, and there's a fast food chain called Red Rooster, which is, uh, yeah. That's rotisserie chicken. Hey, Lanius. Uh, it's going well. Just chilling after a pretty busy week of work. Just progressing more. How's things? <laughs> Hello, stylish harmonica. You've joined the, uh, the chicken discussion. Just... How did it even come up? It, it doesn't matter. Just... I think it went from air fryer, and then air fryer went to chicken. And been stun locked by the chicken to the point where yes I'm eating that tomorrow started with blooming onion you're right yeah you're right. It was... Colin was like, have a have a barbecue. And then you were like, have a blooming onion. And we we're talking about how I could possibly make one. But without a deep fryer, I don't think it's it's a good idea. Even if I was to find a recipe. Oh, hello. Make sure I have a hot potato with it. Uh... I mean, here, uh, to get rotisserie chicken, I could get the chicken and then I, I'd have to make the hot potato because none of the, the places, they just do fries and then they have kind of a salad bar thing. So. Wait, didn't we hear the bleep bleep? 
Where is it? <laughs> Lanius is like, again with the blooming onion? Yes, confirm he wants a blooming onion. Make it happen. You have to make it- make it your goal. Make it your goal by the end of the year. I want to hear that you've tried one. By the end of the year, you have to make it happen. So you have eight months to get yourself a blooming onion. I need a Korok leaf. You were saying it because of the song. That went over my head. Sorry. I should have said, nah, I'll probably have some cold spaghetti instead. Or maybe some mashed banana. Mashed banana. Banana. Yeah, banana, banana, banana. Uh, usually I'll just blow up a tree and it'll give me one, but I'm trying to look for this Korok. Uh oh. Nope. Bye. Oh, here it is. Okay, got it. Where is the stone, though? Should be nearby. This is how I usually find these. It'll point out- there it is, yeah. Point out stuff you can interact with. Yeah, ha ha! Three eighty two. Okay. On Korok Leaf. There it is. Um, okay. I don't want to lose this. I'm going to move this with me. Oh, there's another Korok over there. I can see it. One... Wait, this has a specific pattern, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, I mean, look, I've done this once before. I know you go to the retail village and you go talk to them. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. What is this? It's like the Rito finger... Uh, finger puzzle. Oh no, I can't do this one. This is the recital. I need the little birds. This is the shrine that sucks, is because you have to defeat the, uh... The divine base. So this is the only shrine that I can't do. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't do this. This is the one that I was really disappointed in that you have to beat the divine base to do. So that's where I'll have to cave and beat a base. Which, by like, that's the thing. I would have to ignore the heart container to do um, three hearts on trial of the sword, which. The problem with that is I'd have to teleport 
I'd have to fast travel back to the base later to go pick it up, which is a bit of a hassle and breaks the rule that I'm not allowed to fast travel. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's no real reason why it should be locked behind the base. Anyway. Uh, okay. I feel like I missed an area. Yeah, I did. Look. Uh, I kind of missed this lake here. Okay, go this way. Yeah, I mean, that's pointing to that. has Korok. Can't remember which one. But yeah, to go get a Blooming Onion, you would have to probably make a trip for it, which I guess that's the thing. It's just... it's a mission. Mate, too much of a mission. <laughs> Although, I haven't exactly looked and see, seen if somewhere makes them just... I wouldn't be surprised if uh, someone did try to make them here. But yeah, I mean, take it from someone who got to eat something that they had been wanting to try for the longest amount of time, but didn't. And mine was just sheer laziness slash not being on top of it. Um, I wanted to try and, you know, the Japanese omelette egg rice thing. And I had plenty of Japanese restaurants around. It's just every time I went to one, I always got something like ramen or sushi, something different. And then I had it for the first time recently, and it was really good. It was an experience, but I went out of my way to go get it. I went somewhere good. Hang on, before I... I will cross there. If there's some food you want to try that you've always wanted to try, go try it. And I don't mean like immediately, just make plans to go do it. And do what it takes to go try it. Alright, I'm just gonna go over there now.
Oh. Well, I mean, still Korok. Oops. Uh, I mean, eh, it's not worth it. <laughs> Something else I want to try that I'm not sure where to get them in Australia. I'm sure if I go to the Italian district, they'll be there, but like cannolis. I've always heard them... Heard about them on TV shows and stuff. But I'm not sure they do them anywhere here. They probably do. I think I'd have to go to the Italian district to go look. Doubt there's anything. I'm probably just gonna jump this way. Hang on. That way? No. Yeah, that way. Oh, come on. What? Is this just permanent or is, is this. Is this just the game being an asshole right now or is this. Just set in stone. I think this is set in stone. Isn't there something to this? I remember this actually. There's something to this. What's the gimmick here? I feel like I remember bombs. Okay, well, you get given bomb arrows, so that sort of validates that. What is this? leave here without knowing. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It has to be something. I'm gonna fall and swim... Wait, what's that? Nothing, probably. Okay. Where's Korok? Oh, there. I see it. Got it. Okay. This was 
probably a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This <laughs> is a terrible idea. This is not good. Ugh. Gonna have to go up the hill again. Okay, well. Link, please just. That, there you go, there you go. Even if I had Rivali's thingy, I still wouldn't be able to get back up easily. So tired of this, this ravine, canyon, whatever. It's just man. Is this anything? No. <sighs> I'm sad. That should have been something. A treasure chest. It looks so secluded and hidden. Okay, I have stealth food. Everything is fine. How much? Me uh, 134 cuts of meat. No, no big deal.
So let me look at this. Ugh, okay. Walk up there, and then I guess yeah. Take the ro taking the road is probably the easiest. Follow the road. I need to follow the road. Yeah. Okay. If I'm clearing a tower every two days, and there's, what, four or five towers left, would that mean that in about a week, I'd be at the point where now I start backtracking pretty hard? I don't know. I guess, you know what, that's roughly where I would want to be in a week's time, actually, because that would be the end of April, which would give me about two weeks to resolve everything else, man. I don't know, this is... I feel like I'm gonna run out of time. Maybe I should do what I did with, uh... Twilight Princess and, like, do some daytime stuff over the weekend. Even if it's not necessarily the best time for Europeans. Sorry, Europeans. <laughs> but... I don't know, we'll see. I just, I have the concern that I might run out of time. There's still so much to do. Links look so orange. Yeah, it's a little detail. I don't know if it's the lighting or if it's just when he's in areas like this where it just picks up on the fact that he's in the sun. There are a couple of times where he just looked like came straight out of a spray tan place. His face gets rosy when cold and slowly goes back to normal, he raises the temperature. So I guess I wouldn't be surprised if skin becoming more tanned is a thing. Need tan lines and tears of the kingdom. You're trying to at Nintendo. Sorry, John, I don't think John Nintendo watches the stream that often. Uh huh. <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? Me and boulders, what can I say?
No, you, you got the wrong handle. It's shiggy diggy. If you want to at Miyamoto, it's at Shiggy Diggy. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. I swear, isn't that something you need to do with that center island and bombs, or am I just not remembering correctly? Like, isn't there a spot that you have to bomb? I suppose the radar would be going crazy if there was something important there. Yeah, I don't know. The radar would have been going crazy if there was something there. There was something there, but it was just bombing standard. It wasn't, like, something special. Anyway. Leave it be. There is a Korok there. I did find a Korok there. Look, look at how annoying these things are. And just the fact that they can pop up anywhere, man, it's just... Are they running or planning to attack me? I think they're running. Or not. What's going on? What is with everything trying to murder me all of a sudden? Is there really nothing here? I don't know why I'm still picking this stuff up. Tree over there that looks like a contender. Yep. Also, this windmill does too, but <laughs> shit. Anymore? <laughs> Hopefully I can get to the top of there before it runs out. Nah. It's fine. <laughs> 386. Okay, I'm going- wait, have I been to this one? No. I mean... Yeah, the advantage here is I can... Oh. Ah! What happened there? 
<laughs> no. I hate I hate these windmills. Oh no, that's what happened. Okay, it moved. Exam Exam it! Don't Don't climb down. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go for this. As much as I hate to do so. But this one just has to be a body shot, so it's fine. Ah. Okay. Did it land? Nope. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm riding the updraft. To check this one. Uh, okay. Well. I mean, as far as collecting dragon pieces. Oh, you. Are you fucking kidding me? I would have been really, really sad if I could not get that. The, the stuff just happens to me and me only. Uh, okay. Listen, in the interest of getting there quicker... Walls just don't learn. The worst part is I've done this side, but then I have to do the other side. How many times have I gone through this canyon? I wonder how much money I can get by selling the meat. You know? Yep. 
Oh, you're running? You're running? A lot? Really? How much is one stake worth? Like 22? <laughs> Jeez. I have a, 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 like, I almost have 150 meat on me. I mean, what, I guess, other than ancient arrows, which I need the materials for anyway. It's not really a whole lot else I want to get. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, maybe a bunch of ancient weapons, just so then I have good DPS items, but other than that... Oh, well dodged. Did I finish the house? Uh, I purchased the house. I didn't really do anything else beyond that. I haven't gone back that way. It's like another 1800. Oh, well, I have that. To do all the furniture and stuff. I'll take another trip down there at some point. Do some crabbing. Get some crabs. Stamina mushrooms as well. See if there's anything else I need to do here. I mean, there's a there's a ridge here. was scared. Yeah, that's right. Recognize. Oh, that looked great. <laughs> that just it looks so derpy. It was great. Thank you. 
Hmm. Okay. I don't think I need to do anything else. That path looks pretty... Uh, I mean... Uh, I gotta go back up that way. I know me. Look, later on I'm just gonna... Oh. Okay then. Where? sure where this one is. Unless it's... It's probably over here. No. It's already gone here. There's no way it's at the peak here. I checked. I'll I'll go from above and drop just in case. Thorough there, nope. It'll be interesting to see how close to the 900 I get just by exploration and not looking where things are. I'd say that area is pretty thorough. Now I'm going to head into the village, just make sure I head up this way to cover this path, because it's a pain to get here. Dun 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 dun!
Okay, go up the left side. Well, there's one. <laughs> A ball. I guess just dive and just reset. Yeah. I saw it. There. Don't want to miss. There we go. No, don't climb, don't climb, don't climb. Just drown. Then I get reset up the top. Reach the perimeter. I just want to run through here, so then it's registered that I'm through here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, don't worry about shield surfing. probably has something. I'll go this way. I think it's time to uh, equip this. Retreat every time. <laughs> oh, it's just that. You got nowhere to go. <laughs> just decided to fade inside. Okay, there's another one. I 
I'll be fine here. Three ninety. Fish. What fish? Cold. Shelfin. Oh shit. Ooh. The water was too cold. I thought this was fine. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Well. It's another death. Do I still have the Korok at least? I should, right? Yeah, I do. It's fine. I guess I'll know halfway up. Let's see. Uh oh. Really? <laughs> you can't make that up. They were both synchronized with sound as well. It's not a it's not a Korok. in the slightest. <laughs> Isn't there usually a shrine next to these? I guess this one doesn't have one. Spicy, I need that burny tinkle. I need curry rice. I have Hylian rice. I need Goron spice. Okay. Do I have Goron? I feel like I bought, I bought Goron spice. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't go shopping there. What is it? Oh yeah, I mean, this is just more of this.
Ooh. I don't think I got this. Oh, wait. It's moving away. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah! I missed it. I wasn't about to wait for that. Oh, this isn't a good updraft. Party salmon. Nice. That's uh that frightened me a little. <laughs> That's just out of nowhere. It's uh it's the beast. It's okay. Wasn't ready for it. Out of all the champions, I just, I don't feel anything for Ravioli. Probably easier to just drop down from above, but eh, I should be able to make it. to go further up. There are the children that won't wake up. I can't believe that's what it is. That they just won't wake up. See, I need to get up higher. Before the bird knocks me down. Crap. 
crap, 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 <laughs> crap. <laughs> I'll just go do the shrine. I need to float across to that island over there. Oh, what is a uh, aqua quote? A uh, aqua quote. Aqua vote. Uh, uh, aqua vote. Aqua vote. Okay. I hear fans. Okay. I vaguely remember this one. I should not be using this. I guess use this. This is the weakest one. Oh, you know what? I guess I can use bombs so I don't weaken things. Also got to count for that. Okay. Right, so now this one. Trying to explode myself. Ooh, it's not quite correct. Okay, so what's missing? There we go. Sixty-seven. Okay, well, this is going to be my stopping point for tonight, chat. It is... It is late. I'm feeling tired. I've had a long week, but played a bit extra today, so as it's the weekend. Hope you did enjoy, especially if you're new around here. Thanks for checking out the stream. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do more of this, but in the meantime, if you want to watch more of my streams and content in general, you can find me on YouTube. Just search for the channel over there or go to shambles.gg. 
And for you people watching on YouTube later, thanks for sticking around to the end. And if you want to support the stuff I do, consider doing the algorithm stuff. You know, like, comment. Um, I usually try to reply to most comments. And uh, yeah, pop by Twitch sometime. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your rest, the rest of your day. And uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow and do more. So, hope to see you then. Alright, take care chat.